that you know we would, in fact, philosophically agree that all these laws are there for good reason, and we would be supportive of the reasons that they're there. And so, I, of course, we would want to agree going forward. And then, you know, why wouldn't we? So it's right. Yeah. Are we voting on it's these? Fair, I think it was a fair yeah. way to deal with the controversy, and hopefully, we can move forward yeah. and open the school and run the school at the same time. So. And these are being voted separately as That's we right. go. So and we're going to do it right now, right? Don't yeah. No? So I so move that the board instruct its legal counsel to continue ongoing negotiations. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. The Tad's recommendation was to do these as as they're worded. Okay. As the GCAs, I, I can never say GCACS board is in receipt of the commissioner's memorandum to the Board of the Elementary and Secondary Education of September 29, 2010, and desires to take all necessary actions to proactively address the proposed conditions set forth by the Commissioner. There, the Chair moves as follows. Move that the Board, this is number one, move that the Board instruct its legal counsel to continue ongoing negotiations with the Attorney General's Office to develop a plan pertaining to issues raised by the Attorney General in her letters of September 15, 2010, and September 22nd, <coughs> excuse me, 2010. I'm not going to be able to read through these just because my cough, so someone else is going to have to take over, sorry. And that the board instructs its legal counsel to present a final version of such plan to this board for its approval at its earliest possible date, but no later than November 23, 2010. So moved. Second. Discussion? Okay, call. All in favor? Aye, Rob. read? Um, do you mind? Because I'm going to start. All right, number two, moved by the chair that the board instruct its legal counsel to address directly with the Office of the Inspector General the procurement issues raised by the Inspector General in his letter of September 17th, and to instruct its legal counsel to do so on or before October 15, 2010. Move further that the board instruct its legal counsel to provide the charter school office with copies of all communications to and from the OIG no later than 48 hours after such communications are sent or received. Second. Discussion? Okay. Discussion? Okay. Discussion? Okay. Discussion? Okay. Discussion? Okay. Discussion? I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm just sure Gordon's reading that. <laughs> there you go. Joe, your turn. No, we'll alternate. No, no, I move no. that the board instruct the executive director or his designee to register for and participate in the charter school procurement program to be offered by the Office of the Inspector General, <coughs> Office of the Inspector General, on November 16, 17, 2010, and that the executive director report back to this board with confirmation of his registration and his participation or that of his designee. Second. Discussion. On favor. Four, move that the board instruct the executive director or his designee to register for and participate in the first available program offered by the Office of the Inspector General for the Massachusetts Certified Public Purchasing Official Program for Public Contracting Overview. <clears throat> I won't do the acronym for that. The MCPPOPPCO, scheduled for November 2 4, 2010. Supplies and services contracting, when such program is next scheduled, once the executive director or his designee has attended the prerequisite public contracting overview seminar, and the design and construction contracting, currently scheduled for November 30th, December 2nd, and that the executive director report back to this board with confirmation of his registration and his participation or that of his designee. Second. Discussion? When is he ever going to get to come to work? Discussion? That was a discussion. All in favor? Right. Moved that the board instruct the executive director submit to the charter school office on or before October 15th an updated budget to answer your question and cash flow station, statement for fiscal year 2011, reflecting the number of enrolled students as of October 1st, 2010. Move further that the board instruct the executive director to submit the GCACS October 1 SIMS report no later than October 15, 2010, and provide any additional updates as required by the Charter School Office. Second. Question? Yes, I'd just like to ask we're asking you to be paid on the people registered on October 1st as opposed to March 28th. That's right. Yes, no. 
I think it gets adjusted after the first. It's it, my understanding is that it's adjusted. That it doesn't affect the adjustment. Can we Clarify table that? this one? Because we don't want to go vote that that's what we're going to do. If in fact we're going to go, you're going to Tad's going to suggest that in fact the commissioner did have something to do with lowering our number. No, no, because we would be submitting. One. We'd be submitting. This is no different, not unless the dates are different. My understanding is that the, we we would be submitting an updated budget. Oh, for the seventy, whether no matter how many. Right, right, reflecting the number, and we right. you know that's the budget. Okay, but I don't think I, my when I first read that I thought the same thing, Laura. But, yeah, but I don't. My discussion with Tad said no. That's not what it's talking about. It's not talking about reimbursement rate. It's talking about making a budget based upon what is really budget, right. 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 based on right. Right. Okay. right. All right. So that's the discussion. Call the question. Yeah, so that's your line. I'm sorry. All in favor? Aye. Okay, move number six. That the board instruct the executive director, Tony, to submit to the board no later than October 2010 an updated school leadership plan, identifying how the duties previously assigned to the head of school will be managed during the 2010 2011 school year. Further move that upon receiving this plan and the vote of the board to accept or amend the same, this board shall transmit such plan to the Charter School Office on or before October 8th, 2010. Well, that's a quickie. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wow. Okay. Seven, move that the board instruct the executive director to submit to this board no later than October 5th well, a revised school calendar and transportation plan, including no less than 185 school days, allowing five days for possible closing due to snow days or other exigencies, and demonstrating the GCACS will provide its students with at least 180 school days. Move further that upon receipt of these plans and a vote by this board to accept or amend the same, this board shall transmit such plans to the Charter School Office on or before October 8, 2010. Sounds awfully quiet out there. Uh, second, okay. Um, Hang on, is there a discussion? Yes. What happens when Gloucester schools are finished and we're still going, bus wise? That's where the transportation issue comes up. Right. Why you have to be, and the question is whether the local district retains the responsibility or not. It's something we have to resolve. Will that be in your plan, though? I yeah. suppose. Okay. Well, that's why I asked. And you know, uh, in fact, Brian and Kathy have been very easy to work with and uh, support. Us. Right. For the record, Brian, Tara, and Kathy Burry, uh, Director of Transportation. So. Any okay. other discussion? All in favor? Right. That was number seven. Okay, move that the board instructed secretary, or should such position be vacant, the chair, to provide public notice in accordance with the Massachusetts Open Meeting Law and provide notice to the Charter School Office of regular meetings of this board to be held at the following dates. At 7 p.m. at the GCACS Modular Classroom Floater in 2 Blackburn Center in Boston, Massachusetts, October 5th, October 19th, November 2nd, these are all 2010, November 16th, November 23rd, November 30th, December 14th, and December 28th. Who says we're not the hardest working board in the show business? That's not part of the motion. Second. Um, I think, is, is that the next number or does the motion continue? I think it continues. Oh, further. sorry, no, you're right. Move for the, the board to start the secretary who would be in such position to be vacant, the chair, the chair, to timely provide public notice in accordance with Massachusetts Open Meeting Law and notice of the charge school office at the agenda of such meetings move further that the board instructs the secretary, such position being vacant, the chair, to compile minutes of the above notice meetings within 72 hours of the conclusion of each meeting and to instruct its secretary, such position being well vacant, the chair, to provide a copy of said unofficial meetings to the charge school office within 48 hours of compilation thereof. Move further that the board instructed secretary or should substitute be vacant the chair to provide a copy of all approved minutes of previous meetings to the charter school office within 48 hours of said approval. So, discussion? It's a lot of meetings. All in favor? Aye. 
<coughs> moved that the board instruct its members to identify and nominate new trustees with expertise in public administration, finance, real estate, and law. Move further that the board instruct its members to present such nominations at sufficient time to enable the board to review said nominations and submit said nominations to the charter school office for approval by November 24, 2010. It's further moved that the board instructs its secretary, or as you know, should the position be vacant, to notify the charter school office no later than 48 hours after the board is in receipt of the registration of a member of the board of trustees or is otherwise informed of the departure of a member of the board of trustees. <coughs> I'll second that one. Discussion. Hold on. So it's sort of saying that we're going to stay in touch with the CSO when we get rid of a board member or add one. Which we, which yeah, actually, we the way I read this, and that's why I asked, I have a question. Uh, move further that the board instruct its members to present such nominations with sufficient time to enable the board to review said nominations, to submit said nominations to the charter school office for approval that's by November 24. It's already a requirement. Is that us well, or new? What is your question? Yeah, you, well, it, so is, am I reading this that the charter school office is going to approve our. They always do. They always oh, approve. Oh, okay, so it's just a standard. Any, the standard, the standard yeah. procedure. Anytime we. Decide to add someone to our board. They have to approve okay. them first. Really? Yeah. It's not standard there. procedure. Okay. okay. So that's what I just wanted to ask. Procedure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thanks for approving. Such approval not to be unreasonably withheld. I think it's the phrase. So it's not. It's yeah. What we it's, do anyway. Great. Right. Okay. Thank All in you. favor? Aye. Right. Okay. Move that the board instruct its legal counsel. Sorry. 